Now I have spinach, what I like to call my barely touch spinach. And just get your pan on. Now this is definitely an operation I don't want you walking away from. That's the thing about spinach. And I remember when my husband really first started cooking spinach so that it was actually something you wanted to eat as opposed to a pile of like liquid and matter. <laughs> he finally realized, and now he's actually a great spinach cooker. But the thing is, especially when you're using baby spinach, and that's what I have here, is it cooks down. It really cooks down. Half this volume we're going to see in the end. So I just get a little bit in here and just hang out for a second. And you'd be surprised how quickly it's going to just collapse. Now, one flavor that I really, really, really love with the spinach is nutmeg. If you have a fresh nutmeg pod, I would use that and just a little grater here. And you don't want too much. It's quite strong. But a tiny little bit of it actually really blends beautifully with the butter and the spinach. And I'll just hang here. And like I said, it's the tiny baby spinach. So as it starts to collapse, just gently stir it and get a little bit more spinach in there. And this is something that you want to do you know, pretty much towards the end of getting ready for your meal. And if you cook spinach properly, you just barely wilt it so the moisture is still in the spinach, but it's tender. Another simple technique that will make you love a vegetable that you might not think you like. But don't go away because I'm going to show you how to pan saute a lovely, beautiful piece of fish. You don't need to be afraid of it. It's so simple. There's about three ingredients, and it will make this meal absolutely perfect. All the spinach collapsed into this much spinach. It always amazes me. Anyway, that's what barely touched means. I stood here, I watched it, and it's cooked beautifully. It's all ready to go. I just have to get it onto the serving plate next to our beautiful potatoes. That's what you want your spinach to look like. Still has a lot of structure. It's tender. The moisture is in the spinach still, not in the pan. That's what you're looking for.